Hello everyone, it's Love to Craft here, back with another tutorial, and today we're going to be making these lovely berets. Um, they fit anyone with a head circumference of 53 to 60 centimeters, and they are just so cute with this gorgeous little floral pattern on top. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorial. For this project, you will require two to three shades of weight for yarn, one color for the center, one for the petals, and one for the background. I will be using two colors by the brand Skin Tone in the shade Truffle and Almond. You will also need a tape measure or a ruler, a yarn needle, a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook, and a pair of scissors. We're going to begin with our center color and we're going to make a magic ring. To do this, hold the yarn with the end facing away from you and wrap the yarn around your fingers two times so that you have three lines and then you want to stick your hook underneath the first two and bring the third one through those two loops. You're going to then chain one and then you're going to put eight single crochets inside of that magic ring. Then you're going to grab the yarn that's sort of at the bottom of your magic ring and you're going to pull on it and it should close up and then grab the remaining tail and pull it tight. And then you should have a near circle. And now we're just going to do a slip stitch into that first single crochet. Then we're going to chain three And then we're going to do a double crochet in that same stitch that we slip stitched into. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's a double crochet. And we're going to do two more double crochets in the next stitch. Then we're going to do two more double crochets all the way around so that we have a total of 16 double crochets. And we're counting this chain three as a double crochet as well. So now I have 16 double crochets, including that chain three. I'm going to leave a pretty decent tail and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my yarn. Then I'm going to go ahead and weave in the end on the very back, just this one, I'm gonna weave that in. Okay, I've gone ahead and uh, woven in that end. Now what I'm gonna do is pull out just one of those pull throughs so that I have two loops left and I'm gonna put my hook back through there and I'm going to take my petal color and use that as my yarn over pull through. And then I'm just gonna securely pull that tight. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of my chain three from before. So I'm just going to insert my hook and it can be a little tight, but don't worry. And then do a slip stitch. Now I'm going to chain three and I'm gonna insert a double crochet into that same stitch that we slip stitched into, making sure that I'm weaving in my ends as I go. So I'm gonna put that over my hook, bring my yarn through, and as you can see, I've now woven in that end, and then I'm gonna complete the double crochet. Then I'm going to do another double crochet in the next stitch over. like so, and then I'm going to chain one. Then in the next stitch, I'm going to do two double crochets. And then I'm going to do just one double crochet in the next stitch. Make sure that those ends are all being woven in as I go. And then I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to repeat this Double, two double crochets in one stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, chain one. I'm gonna repeat that little pattern all the way around until I get to the end. Now that I've reached the end, I'm gonna do that final chain one, and then I'm going to insert my hook into the third stitch of that three chain, and then I'm going to do a slip stitch, and then I'm going to chain three. Then I'm gonna pull so that there's a pretty long loop. Now we're going to be working with our background color and I'm going to find 
a place where I did a double crochet increase where I did two double crochets in one stitch. So right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the chain one space right next to it, like so. And I'm gonna grab my yarn and I'm just gonna pull it through like so, so that it's in the back. Okay, then I'm going to insert my hook into that space where I did those two double crochet and I'm gonna go to the back and grab the tail, not the, not the long part, but the tail. And I'm gonna pull it through so that I have a loop. And now I'm going to use the yarn that's attached to my uh, yarn ball here, not the tail. And I'm gonna go ahead and yarn over and pull through. And then I'm just gonna pull that tight so it's nice and secure. I'm going to then do two more chains and these three chains are going to count as a double crochet and then i'm going to do four more chains so one two three four and then i'm going to work into this space where i did two double crochets so this gets a little tricky i'm going to yarn over i'm going to insert my hook but then i need to bring it back towards the front so i need to pull through that chain one space and then I'm gonna grab my yarn pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and I know that's quite weird a bit strange but don't worry as you can see we're sort of forming what's going to be in between the petals then I'm going to chain four I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna go back in that space where I did two double crochets. And I'm gonna pull through my hook through that chain one space. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm going to do that all the way around until I reach the end. Now this is very important. When I reach a place where I have my chain three and my petal color yarn, I want to make sure that my petal color yarn is in front of my piece. So, okay, so I've done a slip stitch, my yarn is in front and it looks a little funky. You'll have like this whole second area sort of sticking up in a 3D way, that's okay. And then I'm just going to chain three Pull a long loop and then we're going to switch to working with the petal color yarn. Now I'm going to insert my hook into my petal color yarn. I'm going to do a double crochet increase into the next stitch. So that means I'm going to do two double crochet in that stitch. And then I'm going to do one more double crochet in the third stitch. And so that first chain three is once again counting as a double crochet. And then I'm gonna chain three. And remember, we're working in our petal color right now. So we're working in all of these stitches, not in the background color stitches. I wanna make sure that the yarn that is in my background color is in front of my piece. And then I'm going to do a double crochet into that first stitch. And then I'm going to do a double crochet increase in the next stitch and then one more double crochet at the end. And so I'm gonna repeat that process of doing one double crochet, double crochet increase, one double crochet in every single petal all the way around until I reach the end. When I reach the end, I'm gonna insert my hook into that third chain in the chain three, and I'm gonna do a slip stitch. And once again, I'm gonna chain three and leave along. We're gonna insert our hook back into our background color yarn. We're gonna make sure that our petal color yarn is in the front of our piece. And I'm going to do a double crochet into the same stitch that we had slip st stitched into previously. Then I'm gonna chain five. And then we're gonna insert two double crochets into the next background color stitch. making an increase. 
and then I'm going to repeat this all the way around. Okay, I've done my final chain five. I'm gonna make sure that my petal color yarn is in front, and then I'm going to do a slip stitch into the third chain of my chain three, and then I'm once again going to chain three and leave a long loop. We're going to insert our hook back into our uh, petal color yarn, and then we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch over from the chain three. Then we're going to do a double crochet increase in the following stitch. And then we're going to do one more double crochet in the last stitch. Then we're going to go ahead and chain three. Make sure that our background color yarn is in the front of our work. And then we're going to continue that pattern of doing one double crochet, one double crochet, double crochet increase, one double crochet. And we're going to do that all the way around. Once again, I've changed three and I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of my chain three. Then I'm going to actually continue working with my petal color yarn and I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to insert five double crochets. So I'm going to count for my hook one, one stitch, two stitch. And this is where I'm going to insert my hook. And I'm going to do five double crochets. Then I'm going to slip stitch into one, two, the last stitch of this petal, like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and chain three. I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch of my next petal. And then I'm going to insert five double crochet into the same stitch I did before. Then I'm going to slip stitch into my last stitch. And I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around. Now I've just done my chain three and I'm going to insert my hook into that first slip stitch. And I'm going to do another slip stitch. And then you can tie off your yarn, leave a long tail and pull it tight. We're going to insert our hook back into our background color and we're gonna do two double crochets in the next stitch over from that chain three so that technically we have three double crochets total in this section. Then we're going to flip our petals forward and look at where we had these chain five and we're gonna go ahead and yarn over and do five double crochets by inserting into that chain five space. Then we're going to come back to the front. We're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch and then a double crochet increase in the following stitch so that we have three double crochet. And then we're going to do that again where we do five double crochet in this chain five space. And we're going to do that all the way around our piece. So now that I've done that, I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of the chain three. Then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to double crochet in that same stitch. Then I'm going to do four more double crochets in each of the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. And then if you look at your petal, you have five stitches. And if you go to the middle stitch, which is this one right here, and you look right behind it, you'll see this sort of bar. So you're gonna wanna insert your hook into that little loop and you're gonna just do a single crochet into that loop. And then you're going to skip this next stitch and then I'm going to go ahead and insert seven more double crochet into the rest of the stitches. So. Once again, looking behind, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this stitch and then insert my hook and do seven double crochet.
Now at the end, all we're gonna do is once again, skip that stitch, oops, and we're gonna do two more double crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're going to slip stitch. Instead of into the chain, we're actually gonna slip stitch into the actual stitch from that first double crochet we did. That chain two just kind of acts as a filler to build height. And so now, as you can see, you have your flower entirely formed. Before moving forward, I'm gonna go ahead and weave in this end just to get it out of the way. For rows seven through 11, we will be doing a set of double crochets and then an increase, and then doing that eight times all the way around. So for row seven, we're gonna do seven double crochets and then an increase. So we're gonna first chain two, and then do a double crochet in that same stitch. And then we're gonna do six more double crochet. Now we're going to do an increase, so we're gonna do two double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're gonna do that all the way around. Now when we reach the end, we're gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch into our first double crochet. So we're gonna skip over that chain two. And there we go. Now we're gonna chain two again. And we're gonna continue doing this same pattern all the way around for this next row. We're gonna do eight double crochet and an increase. And we're gonna do that all the way around. Now we've gotten to the end and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just do a slip stitch into our first double crochet and chain two. Now we're gonna do this again, except we're going to be doing nine double crochet and then an increase for round nine, 10 double crochet and then an increase for round 10, 11 double crochet and then an increase for round 11, and then I'll meet you back here at round 12. Now you may notice some curling starting to happen, but there's no need to worry about that. For round 12, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a chain one, and then we are going to single crochet in that same stitch, and then we are going to single crochet around the entire piece. Now I've slip stitched into that first single crochet and now you're really gonna notice some curling and that's okay, that's pretty much exactly what we want. Now before we move on, you're gonna wanna take a tape measure or a ruler and you're gonna wanna ensure that when you measure across the center of your beret, it measures somewhere between 26 and 30 centimeters. Now we're going to begin doing decreases. So I'm gonna chain two. And then I'm gonna do three double crochet and a decrease. So I'm gonna double crochet in that same stitch and then do two more double crochet for a total of three. And now I'm going to do a double crochet decrease. So to do that, we're gonna yarn over insert our hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, then yarn over again, insert our hook into the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of the stitches on our hook, and that's how we do a decrease. Okay, so I've done three double crochet and then a decrease. I've done that pattern 10 times, so I'm about halfway around my circle here. And now what I'm going to do is just a bonus two double crochet. So one and then two. And then I'm gonna go back to doing that pattern of three double crochet decrease. So one, two, three, and then a decrease. And then I'm gonna do that pattern a total of 10 times going around the other half of the and Then beret. I'm gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch into that first double crochet from before. And then I'm going to go ahead and chain two. And then I'm gonna do two double crochet and a decrease all the way around for round 14. And then in round 15, I'm gonna do one double crochet decrease, do that all the way around for round 15. Now when you reach the end, you can go ahead and just fasten off, leave a pretty decent tail so that you can tuck in your end. And now you should be able to sort of flatten it and build the brim of your beret. So now, 
you should have a beret. And we're just gonna go ahead and weave in our ends and then I'll come back. All right, now your beret is all finished and you're good to go and wear it out on the town. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and like this video and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet content. Also be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram to see more of my creations. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!